Step one. A ball is thrown upward 30 meters per second from a 50 meter high building. Using antiderivatives, calculate the maximum height achieved by the ball. So we know that we have to find the highest point, and for that we have the initial velocity that is 30 meters per second. Our total height of 50 meters and our acceleration that is minus 9.8 meters per second square. Don't forget the minus. Step two. Yay! So as we remember in physics from last semester, we need to use the position function on the respective derivatives. The first derivative gives us the velocity function, and the second derivative gives us the acceleration function. This means that the integral of the velocity function equals the position function, and the integral of the acceleration function equals the velocity function. Keep this in mind. Now, the acceleration function equals acceleration, and the antiderivative function of this equals the velocity function. When we solve this antiderivative, we have that velocity function equals minus 9.8 meters over second square times t plus t1. We know the initial velocity is 30 meters over second, so we equal our function to that and substitute time by zero, because our object hasn't moved yet. When we solve this, we get that c1 equals 30 meters over second. Step 3 <laughs> So now, in order to get the second constant, we need to use the integral of the velocity function to get the position function. We know that the velocity function is equal to acceleration plus times, times t, plus the initial position. The nth derivative of minus 9.8 meter over second squared times t plus the antiderivative of 30 meters per second times the t and that gives us that the integral is minus 9.8 times t squared over 2 plus 30 times t plus c2. And now we need to solve for c2 in order to get the value for the second constant. We know that s of t is equal to 50 meters, so we equal our integral to 50. And the time is zero, again as in the last step. That gives us that c2 is equal to 50 meters. We now calculate the time. We know that b of t is equal to zero, as its highest point. And we equal the velocity function to zero, so zero equals minus 9.8 meters over second squared times t plus 30 meters per second. When we solve that, we get that time is equal to 3.061 seconds. Ta -da! Final step! Our final step is to substitute the values in the position function that we have got so we can obtain the maximum height. We know that the basic formula is at square over 2 plus initial velocity times t plus initial position. So we substitute all the values, solve, and get us answer uh, 95.9184 meters. The conclusion for this problem is that we can use antiderivatives for physics as well. And we used a topic from last semester and we combined it with a topic with this semester and it was really useful to get the other formulas for example velocity or acceleration <laughs>